Hello and welcome to this week's prompt, which is cherries. So starting out by sketching some cherries, I immediately wanted to create something with that red violent, violent, <laughs> we got some violent cherries here, with that red violet cherry colour. And once I did that, I thought of ways I could showcase that violet red colour in the painting. That's when I thought of a person that sells cherries at a market. So they're wearing their red apron, probably made from like shredded bamboo pulp. Being all zero waste and hipster. Like those amazing markets where they sell like beeswax food wraps and bamboo tote bags. It's just so interesting going to those markets, they're so cool. Oh, and then I drew this adorable little cat holding a crate of fresh cherries for his pie stand at the organic market. Then I drew these two people leaning back to back, which I thought they could be two twin villains called the Cherries or something. Then their last name is like Cherries, but wasn't really feeling that one, so I skipped it. And as you can see, I sort of combined the organic market lady and the little kitty cat pie maker to make this guy just carrying a crate of cherries to his stand. I wanted to go with this more stylized realistic design for a specific reason. Being I wanted to see if I could make this watercolor illustration look digital or as close as I could make it with absolutely no experience in digital art. Because when I see these shiny digital paintings it just really inspires me to make really bright illustrations. I have no idea how to explain this but that's what I was trying to go for and I th think I got really close. It's got that it's a sunlit sheen like a backdrop of the sun. I think that's what I mean when I'm talking about shiny digital art. <laughs> no idea. Oh, and I've started brainstorm sketching in a big A3 watercolour book. So it's going to be really fun flipping through all the pages once i am done these prompts to see all the pages and get like ideas from it. So I love going back through my old sketchbooks and redesigning ideas. I like those two little cherries, they look so cute and I want to redraw them. I mainly wanted to do this so I could just watercolour straight onto my ideas without having to thumbnail sketch on a different book. There is one thing at the bottom of the tall building on the left. I don't know what I was supposed to put underneath that, there's just a big blue space. And I don't really know what happened there, I just left it blank. Lately I've been leaving the line work until the very end because it's quite fun getting to the end and then drawing in all the details and then seeing it just pop. Like there's the character, it was sort of out of focus before. And once I realised he was going to be holding the box of red cherries, I realised that I couldn't do his apron red because you wouldn't be able to see the cherries otherwise. So. I had to decide on his clothes because, so I thought, if I did an orange shirt I could do a blue apron to complement it and I didn't want to do the same blue as the sky and the buildings so I went with ultramarine which I really like. I've never actually used the ultramarine colour before so I'm very happy with it. don't know why and I'm so sorry but I I put the peeling the sticky tape off I don't get it it's just I thought I'd add it so there you go so this is the final illustration and I am very happy with it I really focused on colors and foreground and background and I'm very pleased so thank you so much for watching and keep drawing <laughs>